Okay, guys, so today I'm going to look at the previous content I created in the last two videos, which were on uh, enhancing the way the nestable accordion and nestable tabs work, the Bricks defaults uh, widgets for those, I should say, and just making them work a little bit better. Uh, and the reason I actually did that was for a customer who had a WooCommerce or wanted a WooCommerce site, and they wanted to display extra product tabs at the bottom, but weren't happy with the way that Woo was displaying these ordinarily. So you can see here, well, normally we just get description and reviews, uh, but we've added these three extra tabs here, simply by using this custom product tabs for WooCommerce, which is a free plugin. And with that, all you do is you need custom tabs, you just add your tabs, reorder these if you like, save those, and that gives you these extra tabs here. Now the problem they had with, if the content from the tabs is not visible, when you click on these, it appears like nothing changes. So it could be confusing, and that's even worse when you get to a mobile. Uh, if you're on a mobile and you're clicking on these things and you're going, why isn't my content changing? So they didn't like the idea of that. They wanted it to display more like an accordion, So which is what we did for them. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you do that. But the other thing I was going to talk about is these tabs here using the, uh, where's the plugin gone? Let me get back to the plugins. And just disable this plugin. Now, my thinking is that if you are using Bricks, then you are using probably more of the dynamic features of Bricks, which means you probably have Metabox or ACF or something like that. So I'm going to assume you have that because generally with Bricks being such a dynamic system, you really are doing yourself a disservice if you don't have something that can create uh, CPTs uh, and uh, custom fields and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to assume you've got one. I'm going to use this with Metabox. So what I've done in Metabox is, in this case, I've just disabled that plugin actually. So I'll just go back to the... I must have closed the editor. Let me go back here. I'm just going to edit this product. We should now see that we don't have those extra product tabs. Yeah, that's gone. Okay, what we have is up here, we've got product tabs here. We've got a label and content. We can reorder these and we can add more. And to do that, I've used uh, Metabox. Uh, custom fields, created a product tabs group. Um, there's basically a single field in here, which is a tabs, uh, it's a group, uh, and it's clonable and sortable. And then I've got two subfields, which is a text input and a YSIG input. And then just basically on the settings, just told it to put that on the products. And that's given us these tabs here which we can create and move around. Now we've got standard Bricks meta content, or uh, sorry, dynamic content that we can work with. So I'm gonna go and show you what it looks like uh, back here. So if I go into my Bricks templates, and I've created a couple of templates to show this. Okay, so I'm going to go to my single product. I'm just gonna stick that into draft. And I've got one here called Single Product Tabs. I'm just going to enable that. And now if we look at the refresh on that page. Okay, now we've got something that actually looks like tabs. So these actually look like they should do as a tab. And they've got something indicating that something happened. Right, we still don't move to content. So if they are down here like that and they click on that, it's not going to move into the content. Uh, we could do that if we wanted to. We can create a link which scrolls to it if we wanted to. But at least you can see something's changed and it's showing that there might be something below it. Okay, so this is the tabs that we created from the previous video. So that's doing it with tabs. The next way is if we just disable that one. So I'm just going to go to my quick edit and disable that by putting it to draft. And I'm going to now enable my accordion version of it. And then go back and refresh my product. 
Okay. Now I've got the accordion version of it. So we've got a description, instructions, warranty, shipping, and reviews. Now, I think it's better. Now, if we go to mobile view, it looks like an accordion. Okay, so that's what the customer wanted, which is why I initially did this and then why I decided to put it up as a bit of a tutorial. So that's my reason for doing this. Um, I think it's uh, great. I think that we don't need a third plugin to add tabs. We just use standard Metabox, ACF, or whatever. And then in the actual output of it, the description is our standard post content. The reviews is our standard reviews element. The three in the middle here are query loop. Standard query loop outputting standard bricks dynamic data. And it's a really cool way of doing it. it gives you so much flexibility. Um, I'm going to end this video here. I'm not going to go into great detail on each of these because it is, there's some explaining to do in that. Um, if anybody wants me to do a tutorial showing how we've actually done this, let me know uh, if there's enough people that want it, I'll do a more detailed video showing you how to actually do this. In this video, I just wanted to show you that you can actually do it and, and that actually can work quite well. So I'm going to end this here. I hope you like this. Uh, if you do, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and let me know what your feedback is on this. Thanks, guys.